what's going on everybody this is the game haunted channel um you guys probably remember a couple days ago i made a special first look episode of um dungeons battles heroes of the throne and i kind of like it i mean there is a lot of things that they they justify for me to start a let's play session uh, to be quite honest there's a couple uh the battle for example the how to control your units on the battlefield this is special i like it so uh let's say i just want to continue playing this game a uh, couple people were asking me about it so we're going to give it a shot so today this is the first episode i think probably i'm a little bit a little bit advanced i don't think so because i haven't i haven't played that much i really wanted to start playing with you guys so this is the dashboard i remember probably i mentioned this in the previous episode on first look where you can get a lot of information on what's going on. I like it because it's the central central area where you can get we can have all the information. We can access the the shop. We can access some report, um, uh, some news from the developers. Like for example, right now we have double XP weekend. I mean for weekend, yeah, probably it's a weekend, right? Yes, between the fifth and the seventh. Cool, that's pretty nice. And also you can have access to your. Um, you have in the bottom left corner you can see this the in which league your clan or guild is which is really nice right now we're in the bronze league i believe the name of my guild is called goose club nice <laughs> i just joined one that i was invited and i decided to give it a shot and also we got our daily bonus let me see what is the daily bonus for day one you got five goblins and five dryads nice okay you see every day that you log in consecutive days consecutive days uh you can have access to a new daily bonus day one is this day two we get some also ether and gold day three more gold and ether day four mr chess five thieves nice uh what do we have in day six a gargoyle a baby dragon number seven day seven a mr chess nice this is similar to um, in games like um, this means war remember they're, they're doing something similar uh, the idea is to have people motivate the players the gamers to log in every day so that's great uh, we have three days left of this double XP event that's pretty nice alright so this is what's going on with my base we're gonna actually start pretty much from scratch this there's nothing having upgrade anything else i mean the only thing that i have right now is a couple of this uh gold forge which is the one that of course produce some gold we got also this heather crystal they also produce ether that's the two main um currencies in the game there's some rubies also which those are the ones that you need to pay and they allow you to probably uh you can probably boost the production of some of the buildings so you can boost the production of troops and stuff like that but that's uh basically it's gold and ether okay so we have our champion our hero over there the hero's altar i think i mentioned this in the previous episode over here is when you can access and assign the skill points all right we play with the hunter because that was the first uh, hero that you have by default um we have the Blade Quake, which is the basic perk and special ability. Uh, we have two skill points, so we're going to assign that. You see, I haven't assigned anything. I just really wanted to do everything in a live episode. All right, so level two, we can go to level three now, right? Hold on, hold on. Level, oh yeah, I got level one. Level two is done. Yeah, oh yes, level two. Level three, Blade Quake. Stab the ground with both blades. Okay, that's exactly what it is. Um, okay, this upgrade is going to increase the radio in five tiles. Nice. I'll take it. <laughs> um, for level four, let's see. Uh, the cooldown is um, 13 seconds. And we're going to use that too. The idea of this uh, Let's Play, or you, you guys know my channel. I like to teach people i like to share my experience in video games uh, especially strategy games um, so in this one we're gonna probably unlock some other heroes in the future and the idea is that by the time you start playing the game or maybe we're gonna start playing together and uh, you can have a better idea what to choose what troops is good what hero probably for you is the favorite right now i only have access with the, to the hunter i'm probably gonna 
upgrade the hero's altar if it's possible, so we can yeah, we can unlock the other one. Ten thousand ether. I don't have that ten thousand. Ooh. All right. So we need to collect some more resources. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start organizing our base probably in a, in, a, in another episode because I need to. You see, you get, I need to put some of my goblin cannons in position and also need to get probably uh, some walls. Okay. Remember. All right. Let's let's do a recap. Okay. This is the first episode. Remember, we have the, the um, summoning gates. In the summoning gates is your barracks. Okay, over here is when you train all your troops. Right now, let me see. I got my summoning gate level two, if I'm not wrong. So we can access the goblins at the dryad. Okay, the goblins. We already went through that. Is the barbarian? Is the mid shield? Is the basic troop in the game? And the dryad is the first range unit. Okay, so let's take a look at level one target closest. And then you space one speed 17.5, uh, hit point 70 damage per second, 8.55 range, five four tiles. Sorry, with the power of the nature, the drill were the first range minions summoned by the overlord. And I am the overlord, okay? <laughs> I am the overlord. I'm gonna change my 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 graphics on the right side of the screen. Probably gonna put myself as an overlord in future videos. <laughs> I like that. Uh, what do we have in here? Ba -da -ba -bum. Yes. See, and the goblin is uh, ra the the range of the goblins just one. This is a close combat. The dryad is the range. Okay. We're not gonna get this for now. Okay. So that's the job of the uh, summoning gate. Okay. The more you upgrade this uh, building, you're gonna get access to some other troops. All right. We're gonna probably hmm, maybe we can probably get the stone golem. That'll be cool. But uh, like I said, in this first episode, we're gonna try to try to keep be a little bit slow, okay? Uh, like I said, I played this. I already start probably a couple of days ago, but I, I didn't want to do much because I wanted to record live with you fellas. All right, so the minion dungeon. This is like a, the head, um, and this is the the army camp, okay? Where the minions get together and get ready for battle. So right now I got an army capacity of 28 plus 8. Oh, if, if I upgrade, if I agree, I'm going to get some extra 8 spot slots. It's so not bad at all. Do I have something in here right now? Yes, I have 20 dryers and 27 minions. Good. And I have two of these. Uh, yes, I have two of these minion dungeons. All right. Important, really important to upgrade the summon. Um, Summoning gate and the minion dungeon because that way your army can grow. Okay, you can get your more troops. Uh, you can get uh, access to some special troops, like uh, in this case, for example. If we upgrade this one, we can probably. I'm gonna start doing the upgrade. We can probably rush it if it's necessary. For the stone golem, it looks cool, right? All right, let's start doing that right stuff. All right, okay. Looks really nice, right? The graphics. I like the graphics. They're really easy to. They're not overpowering the screen, which is good. It's not something that. Uh, um, there is some games that are a little bit flashy. Um, there is so many colors and stuff on the screen that is, is sometimes difficult to understand what it's going on. <laughs> so rule number one in this first episode: remember construct a lot of this gold forge and the ether crystal. Okay. Also, you need storage, gold storage. And we have also the ether pool. So those are the main resources building that we have to take care. Of. Right now, I had a couple goblin cannons. Of course, like I said, we're gonna I'm gonna reorganize the base. Uh, we're gonna probably put some walls and everything. And I'm also have the obelisk. Mm -hmm, the obelisk. Let's say as an alternative from the goblin cannon, the obelisk is try both ground and air target, which is important because the, right now we are protected for ground units with the goblin cannons. But nothing against air. That's why we have the obelisk. Perfect. Okay, so we're doing okay. Uh, this is the basic. What else? I just I just want to make sure that you guys are up to date with everything that have been done so far. I uh, got the overlord level, probably level three. Having having upgraded my headquarter, overlord command center, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> overlord sounds awesome, and the graphics is great. Look at that. Look at this dude. That's me. 
<laughs> in case you're wondering. All right, so let's get ready. Let's probably let's try to do a, a mission, probably a single player mission. Probably we can go for a PvP match. I'm not really sure how. Oh, you know what? I think we should probably start building something else. Hold on. Let me go to the uh, here and attack. And I think we got access to something else. Am I wrong? Yes, I'm wrong. Yes, wrong. Wolf, okay, wolf is fine. Oh, the dragon blast. What is this? As an enemy army grows inside the overlord, create a dragon blast. It's capable of causing damage to a large area. Okay, sounds like a mortar to me. So I'm really. Huh, that would be an interesting, interesting building to have, right? And what else do we have? I think I think I'm missing something. No? Oh yeah, this is the one that I wanted to build. The cauldron. The cauldron allows you to upgrade and improve your minions. Let's look at the armory. But I need to increase the size of my ether pools. Do I have one only? Only one? Really? Oh, my mistake. My mistake. Let's go. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna start building that. Um, in the meantime, what can we build? I think. Oh, we're gonna just. You know what? We're gonna build there. The Dragon Blast. It's gonna take a long time, right away, like a eight hours. But that's gonna be the mortar, okay? Once that, once that it finish, um, we're gonna see exactly what is the range. I'm not really sure what is the range. You can see the range of the goblin uh, cannons. You see that aura, that white aura that is surrounding it, that showed you the radio of attack of the goblin cannon. Let's see, the obelisk has someone. I'm sure. Oh wow, it's bigger. Cool. So we can, ooh, okay. I really, well, don't worry. We're going to be reorganizing this. Probably the next episode, we're going to just be doing that. Like I said, this is the introduction. Intro. Yeah, that's the intro episode of uh, Dungeon Battles. All right, so we're ready to roll. I got the builders are working. Yes, they're all busy. Of course, I hope so. Finish already. Wow, okay. You know what? I started printing that right away because we need the ether pool upgrade as soon as possible. Alright, so let's go and attack. Ba -da -ba -ba. This is when you make your choices. We can go for a mission, which is a single player one. Or we can find a dungeon, which is our, of course, real players. Let's go, let's find a dungeon. Let's see. Are we ready for this? <laughs> I don't know, we'll, we'll find out in a few seconds. Hopefully it's not a miserly defeat. Wow, this space is big. This base is big. There's so much stuff. Let's go for another one. 75. Okay, I gotta pay 75 gold for each uh, opponent that I'm. I mean, for search for a new opponent. Wow, okay. I just realized that my base is. <laughs> I need to upgrade my base as quickly as possible. I can see those tremendous bases like this one. Look at that. Have a cannon, have a bunch of those goblin ones. Wow, looks scary. I don't know if we're ready for PvP. <laughs> I really need to start. Oh, no, 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 we can't attack this guy. He's probably just, he just start playing. <sighs> I'm gonna be called the Gang Hunter the Merciful. <laughs> I would like that using new players. Of course, it, they're also learning, like us right now. So I don't wanna. It's not necessary. Plus, he didn't have enough resources to steal. So, wow, well, those cannon stuff are looks dangerous. Now, I don't know if I can I can attack this. If... You know what? Let's give it a shot. Okay, that's me. I like to try new things, and that probably is not ready. what I need to do. But uh, you know what? That's what we hear. Let's go ahead. There you go. We put a hero. Go and target that. Nice. Start the obelisk. No, 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 no. There you go. We'll put a couple more triads over here. Steal resources. Steal resources now. Awesome. Awesome. Oh. Okay, my hero is dead, so we can revive him. Let's wait for a couple seconds before doing that. Right now we're stealing resources more than anything. 
you can have a maximum of 30 units on the battlefield in case you're wondering okay what's going on what i was doing why my troops were dying i wasn't able to do much it's because of that you have a maximum of 30 which i believe is interesting and i mean i never used that system before i have some limitation but i guess it's fine to put a couple more minions in here remember you can control your minions you need to get used to it you need to select and then drag it so at the beginning it's gonna be kind of complicated so don't feel disappointed it's part of the learning curve right okay i'm gonna start attacking this uh goblin cannons if it's possible yes perfect come on here i like the fact that you can revive the hero because uh uh, because it sucks when your hero die. <laughs> what else, right? All right, nice. I wasn't expecting to kill this base. I was actually, I haven't done. Yeah, we finish this. See, earthquake. We remember with the earthquake. Nice victory is ours. With the earthquake, we were able to attack and destroy. I mean, stun the enemy overlord nice golden 100% we, we got a lot of resources bonus XP too hey <laughs> this is good this is really this is really really good okay we got rich level 5 level up okay thank you so much um, now for now okay thank you so much oh wow again and um, we really need to get used to the controllers but I think we're going in the right right direction that is great Okay, let's uh, summon a couple minions. We can go for a bunch of. Remember, you need to upgrade the summoning gate. Otherwise, the quantity of uh, troops that you can put in queue is limited. Right now, the maximum they have is 15, which really sucks. So we need to start upgrading, upgrading our summoning gate. Now we're gonna go with another fight. How many troops I have? Well, the maximum I have is 46. Right. Uh, your minion only have 11 space minions. Do you like to finish one minion over the river? Yeah, why not? Okay. We're here to have fun. There you go. Bunch of goblin, bunch of uh, triads. Nice. We're ready to roll. We're ready to roll. We have a lot of resources now. Ooh, that was the only problem attacking a high level player. That now all the sell and all the storage that I have is back. Look at all the gold. <laughs> all gold for everybody and that's scary i don't want people to know that i have that many resources <laughs> that's not a good idea um what are we finishing what are we building in here hold on okay first of all we're gonna go probably for another battle but let me finish something okay otherwise we're gonna stay here forever okay let's finish this one all right let's finish this because i need a builder um what else we can build okay what else we can upgrade we can probably Upgrade this uh, the minion. No. The dungeon? No. The gold storage? No. <laughs> Let's upgrade the goblin can. Right away, there you go. I'm gonna you know just it just gonna finish it for now. Because I wanna make sure that we have the space. I wasn't expecting to be right away, win the battle, right? Then all of a sudden we have plenty of resources. That's double XP. Love it. Okay, so we need to continue increasing the ether. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to continue increasing the ether. So we can oh now now I can build a cauldron. Perfect. I like the fact that they ask you for the um, to have the enough storage for the resources that you're trying to use. I mean there is some games for example that the max let's say the maximum storage that you have available is ten thousand. But if you're trying to build something that is twenty thousand and you pay real money, they allow you to do it. In this one there is some balance, okay? They allow you to uh, of course you buy some ruby, you can buy some more um you can build your your stuff faster, but at the same time is is still asking you to have the storage, the minimum storage to finish those buildings that is great i like it i like it all right so well, let's go for another battle battle right double xp nice all right so we got the hunter hold on hold on the hunter remember the hunter has some point that exclamation point probably is telling me that there's something going on oh hold on we got a bunch of uh, rewards for upgrading some buildings 
Okay, we're not gonna take any of the any f Wow, there's a lot. Okay. I don't have risk. I mean I don't have storage for now, so we're just gonna leave it like that. But let's go to the hero altar and use the level five. What is this? Um Black Quake. Effect the duration five seconds. Nice. Okay. Got it. Got it, 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 got it. Okay, let's go for another battle. In tension battles, of course. I like it. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode the same way I do. So far as like I said, once that you get used to the, 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 the mechanics of the multiplayer, how to control your troops, the game is really, really fun. Alright, so let's find a weak spot. Remember, we're gonna do some strategy videos in the future. So um, there's some goblin towers in there. There's an obelisk. Probably we should attack the obelisk first because it has more range. And there is a bunch of dungeons in there. So let's do that. Let's put the hero in here. Uh, you're gonna be attacking the obelisk. And there you go. The enemy hero is coming. So let's deploy a couple drive drives in here. Ooh. We need to take care of that guy before it's too late. All right, all right. I got enough troops. My hero just died, which of course in my level, my level is not the best. Let's make a hole in the wall so we can deploy. Yeah, let's make a hole in there so we can attack the overlord. There you go. Go for that. Earthquake, perfect. Play a couple. Triads in there in the background, so they can allow me to attack the other goblin cannon. I'm gonna probably use the another earthquake, and we're gonna send this triad over there to the other goblin cannon, so we can continue moving forward. Oh, they have the dragon stuff. Remember we were talking about that? I'm gonna start attacking there. Nice. Earthquake! Nice! There you go. I think we got this one under control. So far, so good. All right, hero, move. I like, I like the. Oh, look at that! Where's the Where hero? Hero, go, go, and pick up the stuff. I believe that is the box with extra resources, which is like a double damage. Nice. Oh, I wish I saw that before. All right, let's go over there, guys. Guys, let's go. Okay, let's finish that. Wow, wow, it's really cool that you can find boxes with a special... I thought it was just gold, the boxes that you can find in the enemy bases. But now I just I just realized that you can get some extra perks, like a double damage? That's great, right? All right, that was a, another decent attack. Like I say, get used to the controller, get used to the mechanics, and then you're going you're gonna to notice a big, big, big improvement in your strategy when you attack. Perfect. Nice! And we got the reward for level 6. We got 2 rubies and 1 skill point. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is just great. This is just great. I'm just not sure if I should continue upgrading the hunter or should I try to unlock the next... Um, oh, can I upgrade one of these? Oh! Really? I can open some other... I didn't know that. I can open some other skills. Passive skill, light blade. What is this one? Uh, pa -da -pa -pa. Return of the increases resistance, absorbing and later and returning damage. Wow, from this one, return of 0%. Perfect. And blood, blood blade. Um, effect the duration 0 second, damage 0, 10, stun chances 10. Also, in every attack, there is a chance for the blood blade to activate, causing extra damage and a small stun time. Wow, <clears throat> you see. This is good. This was this way. I love playing these games live, learning at the same time. I, I, I don't like to record and do all the editing that some other uh, other gamers do. I like to learn as I play, and I know it's tougher. It's way tougher than just play by yourself and then record and then just uh, do the voiceover or whatever. But um, I just realized that I can go into the skill tree of the hunter and get something else. Okay, so this one requires level 2, level 3, level 4, some more heroes, nice. Alright, so what was the light blade? The light blade is uh, absorbing and then returning damage. I think that is really cool. And this one is, uh, oh, stun. 
and damage boost. Okay, we're gonna get this one. And there is a passive. This is a passive skill. Okay, so it's gonna be active all the time. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff that we have to learn. This is great. The Overlord is happy. <laughs> all right, everybody. This is the Game Hunter channel. We're gonna continue with some more dungeon battles in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like my videos, and uh, probably in the next episode we're gonna try the new troop, the one that the go the golem that I'm trying to unlock in the um, in the summoning gate. And this is getting so interesting. Nice. All right. Post in the commentary section your impression about the game. We're gonna continue in the next episode. Take care, everybody.